So one interesting thing about you coming to hi coming to a place like this is you kind of appreciate the little things of life. Hola, hola everyone. Hope you guys are having a good time wherever you are watching from. So today I'm here in a place called Rifle Range. Yes, Rifle Range. I really don't know why the name sounds so violent though. It's a residential neighborhood here in Georgetown, Penang and it was actually completed in early 70s which makes it one of the first residential estates in this environment so let's just take a walk around this place today and enjoy our time here so come with me If you've been to Malaysia, then you quickly realize it's really difficult to find a ghetto or a slum. So I've been kind of relentlessly searching for something close enough to a slum or a ghetto. And finally, I found one here in Penang. My first impression here today is this place is completely different from every other part of georgetown or penang that i've been to Hi. because they have a uh, lot of condos just in a very tiny vicinity you know usually they have like six tall buildings in one place and they are really really old Earlier I said the name sounds to violence, right? Why is this place called the Rifle Range? You know, strange. Why rifle? <laughs> Why not potatoes? <laughs> it's formerly a shooting range used by the British Army here in Malaysia. So low-cost flats were constructed within these premises or within this area to provide affordable housing for the urban poor. If you know what urban poor is, I mean someone like you and I <laughs> who wants to live in the city, you know, and but we can't afford the high-end apartment so we need something somewhere. So this place actually looks like a place in Kuala Lumpur called Amant Puri. <laughs> you know, the structure is the same, the color is the same, literally the environment is just similar. I could count one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five buildings. This, these buildings are extremely old. When I say extremely old, but just look at this environment. It's, it's literally just packed. No space whatsoever. Which means this place is just filled with people. There's a playground in this place. These guys are playing football, futsal. Uh, 
and I don't know if there is a school in this place as well because they just literally wear the same uniform. <laughs> wow, this is a typical neighborhood. Apakaba, this is a typical neighborhood. Just look at this background behind me. <laughs> Hold on. What's your name? My name is Tamish. Huh? My name is Tamish. Tamish. Yeah. Are you from uh, Rifle Range? Huh? Are you yeah. from Rifle uh, Range? Johor Bahru. Uh. Oh, so how long have you lived uh, in, uh, in Rifle Range? Five, five years. Uh. How old are you? Uh, good. How old are you? How old are you? Oh. Uh, 12 years old. 12, okay. Is this your brother? No. Your friend? Uh, yes. What's your name? My name is Bilu. Bilu? Yes. And what's your name too? Sri Ram. Huh? Sri Ram. Sri Ram. Yes. Nice to meet you guys. Yes. So you guys live here, I guess? Yeah. Oh, okay. Those, those kids are fun. Wow, so... Growing up in this kind of place in Nigeria, even though we don't have these tall buildings and you know condos around, but you know the typical neighborhood where you just kind of go to every evening to chill, you know, maybe get some drinks and if you want to smoke too. A lot of people smoked growing up, but I never did. <laughs> If you've been to Malaysia and you see a structure like this it's very easy to tell how long the structure has been around because literally you can't find new buildings like this anymore in Malaysia. <laughs> Here is the minimat. You know, it's the typical neighborhood minimat where the, nothing flamboyant, you know, but whatever you want is just available. <laughs> this is the restaurant. Amazing, right? I mean, if you grow up in a place like this, you would appreciate this kind of place, you know. Growing up, we don't have any McDonald's, we don't have KFCs around, we, you know, we have nothing. All we had was this kind of restaurants and we really enjoyed this kind of things. So this is the salon right behind me, a unisex salon where everyone in this neighborhood just kind of walk into to look good. <laughs> and one thing I found interesting about this place is each building has different inscription of uh, languages. Okay, for example, you have a building where the writing on the wall is literally Malay. You have another where the written on the wall is Tamil. And you have this one where the written on the wall is Chinese. So it's it's really amazing. Apakaba. <laughs> hey. You have uncles. Hello. <laughs> you have uncles and aunties just 
sit in and enjoy the time, their time. One amazing thing about you coming to this kind of place is how happy people around you are, you know. You just find people extremely happy for the little they have around. So there's a Chinese physician in this place. <laughs> Who needs a doctor when you have a Chinese physician? So this place actually looks like a wet market but I'm not so sure because they literally have a lot of things going on in this place right now. So you have loads of restaurants in this place. This place is dominated by just restaurants. So they are beginning to open up as well. So I guess it's gonna be pretty busy in maybe an hour time. So the other part was actually dominated by the Chinese. I see a lot of Chinese just in a place just chilling and right here I have a lot of Indians just chilling as well. <laughs> you know, find your people. You know, I thought I had seen it all, but it's like these buildings are just never ending. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Are you guys from this place? Yes. Uh, rifle range. Yeah, rifle. You're from rifle range. Yeah. Rifle. Oh, really? Also known as boundary. So, uh, why is this place called the rifle range, though? <laughs> I'm not saying this. I'm saying at Palinda. Oh, okay. Who is from this place? Uh, that that two girls. Oh, the ladies. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Nigeria. Have a nice day. Glad to know you. You too. I was hoping I just kind of get someone to say hello to to ask some questions, but you know it's difficult sometimes here in Malaysia to find someone to actually interact with on the street. It's really difficult sometimes. You just have to keep trying and trying. At the end of the day, you end up finding nobody. <laughs> Yeah.
There's, there's a big cemetery here. I have never seen a cemetery this big in my life. <laughs> I mean, it's from one extreme end to another extreme end. It's an amazing experience when you find yourself in a place where you could actually relate to maybe 90% of what's going on in the background and you keep wondering, wow, this used to be me, <laughs> wow, I was brought up this way, you know, something to be proud of. I've come to the end of my time here today. I want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor by smashing that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys and see you some other time. Peace out.